Hello there. I am Khan Tayyim from Khan Varsity. Did you know that the abattoir industry is responsible for the employment of over a million people worldwide? That's right. We're talking about the bustling, always on the go world of abattoirs, or as some might prefer to call them, slaughterhouses. Now, before your imagination takes you on a trip to a grisly Texas chainsaw massacre kind of place, let me stop you right there. Yes, it's a place where livestock meet their end, but it's also a place of precision, protocols, and let's not forget employment for a significant portion of the global population. Imagine, if you will, a world without abattoirs. It's a world where the sizzling sound of bacon in the morning, the comforting aroma of a roast chicken dinner, or the satisfying bite of a well-cooked steak are all but a distant memory, not a world many of us would want to live in, right? Yet the abattoir industry is often overlooked and underappreciated. It's not all blood and gore, you know, it's also about the meticulous process of ensuring that the meat we consume is safe, hygienic, and ethically sourced. And this is where the million people come in. From the skilled butchers to the diligent inspectors, from the meticulous record keepers to the tireless cleaners, they all play a critical role in bringing that juicy steak or crispy bacon to your plate. And let's not forget the hilarity that can ensue in these places. I mean, have you ever tried herding a group of pigs who have decided they'd much rather explore the rest of the facility than go where they're supposed to? Or perhaps you've had to explain to a health and safety officer why there's a chicken running wild in the office. The abattoir industry is full of these unexpected laugh out loud moments that lighten the mood and make the work day fly by. So next time you're enjoying your steak, remember it's not just about the cow, it's about the million people behind it. The world of abattoirs is a unique, unexpected, and often hilarious place to be. So here's to the unsung heroes of our dinner plates, the abattoir workers. Cheers. Ever heard of humane slaughter? Sounds like an oxymoron, right? Well, not in the abattoir world. Let's dive right in. Picture this, humane slaughter is like being put to sleep before a big operation. Only in this case, the operation is a one-way ticket. It's not about making a picnic out of a grim task, but ensuring animals are spared unnecessary suffering. You wouldn't want to go into surgery wide awake, would you? Well, neither do they. Next up, we have stunning. No, we're not talking about a dazzling runway model or a jaw-dropping sunset view. In the abattoir universe, stunning is the act of rendering an animal unconscious before slaughter. Think of it like hitting the snooze button on your alarm clock, but with a bit more finality. Now, let's talk about bleeding. Nope, we're not discussing a tragic Shakespearean play here. In the abattoir context, bleeding refers to the process of draining blood from an animal post stunning. It's like letting the air out of a balloon, only a lot messier. Finally, we arrive at dressing. If you're picturing a fancy salad dressing, you're in for a surprise. Dressing in the abattoir world is the process of removing an animal's skin, internal organs, and other inedible parts. It's like peeling an orange and taking out the seeds, but with a bit more gusto. So there you have it, folks. We've navigated the labyrinth of abattoir lingo with our humor intact. We've learned that humane slaughter isn't a cruel joke. Stunning isn't about good looks. Bleeding isn't a melodrama. And dressing isn't about making a salad. Remember, words can be deceptive. 
and in the abattoir world, they take on a whole new meaning. So next time you hear these terms, you'll be in the know and won't be fooled by their everyday connotations. So there you have it, folks, the ABCs of abattoir jargon. Who knew dressing could mean something so bloody now? Abattoirs aren't just a free-for-all meat fest. They have rules, lots of them. Picture this, my friends. In the heart of the action, where the stakes are high and the tension is palpable, there is a secret agent. This agent doesn't wear a tuxedo, nor does he carry a fancy gadget. Instead, he's armed with a rule book, a pen, and a steely determination. He is the silent guardian of the abattoir, the unsung hero who ensures that everything is up to code. This agent's name, compliance, his mission to uphold the regulatory and statutory requirements and industry standards. These aren't just some random guidelines scribbled on a napkin. Oh no, these are meticulously crafted rules designed to ensure safety, quality, and efficiency in every step of the process from the moment the animals enter the facility right up to when the meat leaves the premises. You might think, well, that sounds about as exciting as watching paint dry, but hold on to your hard hats because this is where it gets interesting. Imagine a high-speed chase, but instead of sports cars, we have health inspectors. They're hot on the trail of any potential breaches, ready to swoop in at a moment's notice. Their weapon of choice, a clipboard and a sharp eye for detail. And trust me, they don't miss a beat. Then there's the battle of the industry standards. These are like the secret codes of the abattoir world. They dictate everything from the humane treatment of animals to the correct procedures for slaughtering, right down to the temperature at which meat must be stored. These standards are the lifeline of the industry, the invisible threads that hold everything together. But it's not all cloak and dagger. There's a dash of drama too. Picture a courtroom scene where a breach of regulations is on trial. The defense, a well-maintained logbook, complete with detailed records and timestamps. The prosecution, a non-compliance report. It's every line a potential indictment. The judge, a stern-faced auditor, ready to deliver the verdict. And let's not forget the comedy. After all, what's a good spy novel without a dash of humor? There's the moment when a new recruit misreads the temperature gauge and thinks the freezer's broken, only to realize he's looking at the scale in Fahrenheit, not Celsius or the time when a worker in a rush to finish his checklist accidentally checks off chicken instead of turkey, causing a momentary panic in the packing department. Yes, the world of abattoir regulations might not be your typical action-packed realm, but it's a world filled with intrigue, drama, and a fair bit of laughter. It's a world where every rule matters, every standard counts, and every person plays a vital role in ensuring that the meat you enjoy is safe, high quality, and produced with care. And that, my friends, is the thrilling world of abattoir regulations. Never thought you'd hear thrilling and regulations in the same sentence, did you? Imagine a crime scene investigator, but for meat. That's what abattoir documentation and reporting is like. Just as a detective meticulously collects evidence to solve a case, the abattoir worker diligently gathers information to ensure the smooth running of operations. It's a role that requires an eye for detail, precision, and a deep-seated respect for the rules. Think of it this way. Each animal that passes through the abattoir is a story waiting to be told. Its age, origin, health status, and treatment all form part of this narrative. And it's the abattoir worker's job 
to accurately record this tale. But why are these stories so important? Well, they're crucial for a variety of reasons. First, they ensure traceability. Should a problem arise with a particular batch of meat, the paper trail allows us to trace it back to its source. This helps resolve issues quickly and efficiently, preventing further complications. Secondly, these records confirm adherence to industry standards. They prove that the animals were treated humanely and that the meat was processed in accordance with health and safety regulations. This not only safeguards the consumer, but also protects the reputation of the abattoir. However, the task doesn't end with simply recording data. These documents also need to be reported to relevant authorities. This could be the local health department, the National Food Safety Authority, or even international regulatory bodies. And this is where the role of the abattoir worker becomes even more critical. Just like a detective presenting evidence in court, the abattoir worker must ensure that their documentation is accurate, complete, and persuasive. Any missing or incorrect information could lead to penalties, or worse, the closure of the abattoir. Now, let's talk about non-conformance. In the world of crime, non-conformance could mean a suspect not matching the description or evidence not fitting the theory. In the abattoir industry, non-conformance refers to any deviation from the established standards and regulations. This could be something as minor as an incorrect date on a document or as major as a breach in animal welfare guidelines. Regardless of the severity, non-conformance needs to be identified, recorded, and addressed promptly. And it's the abattoir worker who plays a pivotal role in this process. So, you see, the role of an abattoir worker in documentation and reporting is not just about data entry. It's about maintaining the integrity of the industry, ensuring consumer safety, and upholding the rights of the animals. It's about being the guardian of the abattoir's reputation. And while it may not have the glamour of a primetime detective show, it carries a weight of responsibility that is just as profound. So, if you've ever fancied being a detective, why not consider a career in abattoir documentation? It's like CSI, but with more cows. In the world of abattoirs, there are heroes and villains, and I'm not talking about the cows. Picture a Wild West showdown. On one side, we have our heroes, the conformers. Uh, these are the folks who adhere to the standards, follow the regulations, and ensure their abattoir documentation is as spotless as their aprons at the start of a shift. They're the ones who make sure their abattoirs are up to code, their processes are efficient, and most importantly, they respect the welfare of the animals in their care. Now, on the other side, we have the villains, the non-conformers. These are the renegades, the ones who think they can skirt around the rules, evade the laws, and treat their documentation like a pesky fly buzzing around their head. They're the ones who cause problems, not just for themselves, but for the entire industry. Conformance in the abattoir industry is not about being a stickler for rules. It's about maintaining the integrity and reputation of the industry, ensuring animal welfare, and providing quality products to consumers. Non-conformance, on the other hand, can lead to serious issues such as health risks, legal troubles, and damage to the industry's reputation. Now, let's imagine a scenario. A non-conformer decides to skip a few steps in their process to save time. Maybe they decide not to clean their equipment properly, or maybe they don't follow the correct procedures for animal handling. It may seem like a minor thing, 
but these shortcuts can lead to major problems down the line. For instance, improperly cleaned equipment can become a breeding ground for bacteria, leading to contaminated meat. Improper animal handling can lead to stress and injury for the animals, which can impact the quality of the meat and potentially violate animal welfare regulations. But our conforming hero, they understand the importance of these procedures. They know that taking the time to do things right will not only prevent these issues, but will also ensure the quality and safety of their products. They know that in the long run, conformance pays off. But what happens when our non-conforming villain gets caught in their misdeeds? Well, they could face hefty fines, legal action, and even closure of their abattoir. Not to mention, the reputation of their business would take a serious hit. So you see, in the wild west of the abattoir industry, it's not about who can draw their gun the fastest. It's about who can adhere to the standards, respect the regulations, and maintain the integrity of their operation. So remember, in the world of abattoirs, it pays to be a hero, or at least not a villain. Well, folks, it's been a wild ride through the world of abattoirs, but like all good things, it must come to an end. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on our journey today, a journey filled with jargon, rules, paperwork, and, of course, the heroes and villains of the abattoir world. We started off by stepping into the unexpected universe of abattoirs. It was like landing on an alien planet, wasn't it? A world filled with unique sights, sounds, and smells. A world that is much more than just a place where animals become our dinner. Then we plunged headfirst into the ocean of abattoir jargon. Words like slaughter, dressing, and rendering suddenly took on a whole new meaning. And who could forget the memorable hide puller that one's sure to be a hit at your next dinner party. From there, we navigated the labyrinth of regulatory and statutory requirements and industry standards. It was like a thrilling treasure hunt with each rule and regulation, a precious gem to be discovered and understood. Next, we dived into the sea of paperwork Abattoir documentation and reporting might sound as exciting as watching paint dry, but we found the humor in it, didn't we? With every form and report, we were left chuckling at the sheer complexity of it all. Finally, we met the characters of our story, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We celebrated the heroes who ensure conformance, and we jeered at the villains who dare to flout the rules. Um, it was like a classic Western, but with more meat and less horse riding. So next time you tuck into your burger, remember, it's not just about the meat, it's about the million people, the jargon, the rules, the paperwork, and the heroes and villains of the abattoir world. Bon appétit. For more of such educational content, please consider subscribing to the Khan eVarsity channel.